Our daily Bible reading for January 18th. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9. We'll be reading verses 18 through 38. While he was saying these things to them, behold, a ruler came in and knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. And Jesus rose and followed him with his disciples. And behold, a woman who had suffered from a discharge of blood for twelve years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment. For she said to herself, If I only touch his garment, I will be made well. Jesus turned and, seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. And instantly the woman was made well. And when Jesus came to the ruler's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making a commotion, he said, Go away, for the girl is not dead but sleeping. And they laughed at him. When the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl arose. And the report of this went through all that district. And as Jesus passed on from there, two blind men followed him, crying aloud, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it done to you. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus sternly warned them, See that no one knows about it. But they went away and spread his fame through all that district. As they were going away, behold, a demon-possessed man who was mute was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the mute man spoke. And the crowds marveled, saying, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He casts out demons by the prince of demons. And Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every affliction. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. A few thoughts for today. There are those among us, perhaps even you, who have suffered from debilitating illnesses and pain that lingered for weeks, months, maybe years, with no end in sight. Those in the medical field are beginning to see the effects that long-term illnesses have on the lives of those who suffer from it. Depression often accompanies those who endure such illnesses. A sense of hopelessness comes over them as over and over doctors, specialists, surgeries, and treatments fail to alleviate the pain and suffering. The woman here in this passage reaches for Jesus with more than just her hand. She reaches out in faith for the chance to finally find relief. If I only touch his garment, I shall get well. Mark's gospel tells us a little more about her state. We're told, and had endured much at the hands of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was not helped at all, but rather had grown worse. Mark chapter 5 and verse 26. What a scene of desperation. Having spent all she had, And after that, it only gotten worse. Can you imagine the life she must have been living? For many, it is out of desperation and hopelessness that they will finally reach out to Jesus. In certain circles, this is called reaching rock bottom. Nowhere else to go. In the Beatitudes, it's called being poor in spirit and mourning. It is those who feel this that will find the kingdom and be comforted. This woman knew where to find it and was blessed by God for her faith. We too will be blessed when we reach out as well. It is unfortunate that sometimes we must spend all we have only to find that we have not found what we wanted and are even worse off. A question of the day. How much do you think this woman knew about Jesus when she reached out to him? Finally, a thought to meditate on this day. Jesus often spoke in terms of your faith when speaking to those he healed. 
consider what part your faith plays in your day-to-day -day life. And those are our thoughts for today, January 18th.